Uh, oh, octopi. Two of, two of them. Two octopus That's series really nice of shot. anthemastus. Three. Three. Bamboo coral. There's another octopus off in the far corner. Is that the third one? Somebody said. Oh, there's three, a third three. one. Yep. Yep. There it is. And oh, another one farther in. Here. Oh, and there's some really nice structures in yep. the sediment that we're seeing above here. So I think what we see, um, there's definitely a contact between two rock units here. Yeah, they look really different. That's really huh? yep. And I think the white is the chalk that we've been following up this cliff for most of the time. And I think what's above us must have more silt and clay. It's definitely a lot darker, much lower carbonate content. But it almost has some flow structures in it. Sure does it look like that. Looks like, like there was some possibly wave action going on here. And um, I guess that there's a lot of clay in here. Uh, clay will help hold it together and can produce these sort of strong, uh, horizontally continuous linear structures. So that's really striking. And those flow features are really nice. Hmm. There's Alternately, there could be some deformation of the layer. There's also something known as soft sediment deformation. Um, so that means the, so the sediment is they're clay and therefore coherent, but it can bend. Just as you might try to bend a harder rock that will then um, hold its shape. So instead of breaking, it's actually bending plastically.